everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Do you see this right here? Do you see this look? This look is using my girl Jackie Aina's palette. She's not my girl, but I wish she was my friend because she's freaking awesome. And I love watching her channel. If you guys aren't subscribed to her, go subscribe to her because she's freaking awesome. I love the fact that she keeps it real all the time. She inspires me to be myself and be creative and step out your comfort zone and speak your mind. So you go girl. But this palette right here has been sold out and your girl finally got her hands on it. So we're about to show you how I went from that to this. I had a little foundation malfunction, but we're gonna walk you through this process. So let's let's do this. Let's start from the beginning. Well, today is gonna be a little strange because I finally got my teeth done. However, my face is a bit swollen from the procedure, so I may look a little weird, but we're not gonna judge today. We're not gonna judge any day. We're just gonna, you know, come here to do what we came here to do. I recently went to Mexico and they get Kiehl's gifted us some stuff, so I'm gonna use this creamy eye treatment. I know y'all be like, go gentle on your eyes, so that's what I'm gonna do. And my skin has been extra dry, so I'm gonna actually be using an oil. I'm using this La Mer Renewal Oil. Last time I told you all about this, you said it was too expensive. But sometimes it's nice to pay for something that's a little expensive because you get what you pay for. So I'm just gonna kind of put this everywhere. I've been trying to take it more easy in my face since y'all said I was rubbing my face too hard. <laughs> but yeah, my face has been so dry. I think it's because I've been traveling, so just trying to take it easy on my face. I'm gonna use this, this MAC Lightful Moisture Cream. So I'm actually just gonna go in the lid. Oh, so now my face is nice and moisturized. Okay, next I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Brow style definer. And I'm going to start with my eyes first, just because I'm not a seasoned makeup person. So I'm gonna use this, this Banana Bright Face Primer. I it out with a beauty blender. I'm gonna use the perfect peak. I'm gonna brush like this. Palette. I expected nothing less from Jackie for her packaging. She has such a vibrant personality and I'm gonna try to open it very carefully so I don't ruin it. seen the colors yet. Yes, girl. Wearing this, this situation, this color, so I want to go with that, but we're going to do it a little more dramatic today, but I love this look right here. Super cute. So I'm not going to copy it exactly, but I'm going to do my best to like look as good as her, which is gonna be hard because I could always be looking. 
So we're about to figure this out right now and figure out what she used and maybe just play my own little situation. This pencil by NYX, just to go up under my eyebrow, just to make sure that it's very light under my eyebrow. Same kind of brush I used earlier, and just rub it in a little bit. I'm gonna ombre it out. All right, so the first color I think I'm gonna start with is the edges, because I just wanna see how dark it comes out, because I'm not sure. Sometimes colors look more dark, so. I know Anastasia's are very pigmented, so that's really good. Yep. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm not the best blender, but I'm gonna try. I can definitely tell that that is the color she used. I wanna say she used a little bit of credit as well. So credit is right here, right in the crease, right there. Y'all, I do not know what I'm doing at all. I might end up looking like I have a black eye, but I'm really hoping that I look like this girl in this picture. I'm gonna use one of my other brushes to blend that a little bit. Right here. I'm gonna use that. Pretty, very pretty. All right, so now in the inner crease area, I'm gonna try. I'm actually gonna use a little bit of trust issues too, just to make sure that it pops. Okay, so the trust issues is like a green yellowy, which is what I didn't really know. So that's beautiful. It looks like white almost, but it's not. Okay, I'm doing this firecracker look, and I like it so far. Okay, we're getting somewhere, and I'm just gonna blend that in a little bit, right there in the middle. I feel like I look like Charmander, like the, um, the Pokemon. And there's nothing wrong with Charmander. I like Charmander. On um, the brow bone, oh, Dollars is pretty. So Dollars, I'm gonna use right in the middle. Okay, this is like a very like sparkly, loose one. So I'm gonna definitely go back and blend that out. Literally a firecracker. Now, obviously, I'm gonna have to go back and blend this out more. Okay, that looks good. So now I'm going to do an eyeliner. I haven't been really doing eyeliner like that recently, but I am because I feel like it's gonna make this look like really pop out. So I'm gonna use the Dior Vinyl Black. So 
now I got a wing ting going on. A wing ting. Now I'm gonna put the lashes on. That's how you know my skin is dry because I put all that moisturizer on and it's still dry. <laughs> Glass. I don't know if it's currently my color, but we're gonna find out. I've got a perfect puzzle for you. I feel like this foundation is pretty orange, but I'm gonna give it a chance. I actually look like an Oompa Loompa. That's kind of strange. Okay, so I'm gonna add a dose of colors to it. See if this helps. Oh yes, yeah, this is gonna help a whole lot. I have so much foundation on my face. Crazy eyeshadow looks good though. Okay, so that dose of colors basically saved me, and that was dose of colors in medium tan 125, perfect peach again. Okay. This is like my favorite part of doing my makeup is putting the powder on. Okay, I'm gonna use this bronzer. And I'm going to use underneath my eye. I'm just gonna find a right on top. Trophy wife. I'm gonna lightly dust it on there because trophy wife is serious. But since I have all this gold going on. This brow drama by Maybelline. I feel like since this is a bit of a dramatic look, I can go a little dark on the lips. So I'm gonna use Mahogany by MAC. So I use the Mahogany by MAC and I'm gonna, on the inside, I'm gonna use Hustle Honey. I'm gonna use my vegan Jennifer Mez on the middle just to give it an ombre effect. This one's a bit lighter. Coming soon to a Primark near you. And then what I like to do, even if I put gloss, I like to get a little bit of um, translucent powder and just mattify my lips. So I love my Fenty, but I'm gonna actually use my Jennifer Mez Love with PS actually on top. I'm gonna brush it like this and just lightly go on my nose. So 
so that is my look for the night i'm really feeling this more dramatic look i usually do not do stuff like this so it feels nice to step out of my comfort zone um shout out to this beautiful girl for being my inspo i mean i'm very far off but you know it's still y'all get the gist of it but yeah this look is beautiful jackie has these vibrant colors that look good on all skin complexions so shout out to her a lot of people don't pay attention to that but your girl jackie pays attention to them pigments boy she does she did a good job shout out to jackie jackie this look pulled together pretty well i was a little nervous i'm not gonna lie when i did the foundation since i tried that foundation for the first time but we ended up making it work so shout out to Jackie. I think it's a thumbs up, so just give me a thumbs up, just why not? I'm getting better at makeup, y'all. You can kind of tell that like I'm making some progress because when I first started, my lighting situation and everything was just no bueno. So now I'm getting a little better, thanks to you guys, thanks to your support. So make sure that you subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Follow me on all social media platforms. Make sure that you leave a comment and let me know what you like, what you didn't like. I think I did a good job blending too surprisingly because your girl is usually not good at blending but yeah i think this look came together pretty darn well that concludes today's video and i will see you next video love you guys